Hi everyone, I am Soham Gatkil and today I'll be presenting our paper in middle 2021. It's titled CheckSeg, Combining Expert Annotations with DNN Generated Saliency Maps for X-ray Segmentation. My co-authors are Mark Endo, Emily Wen, Andrew Ng, and Pranav Rajpurkar. Uh, the black box nature of deep neural networks represents a barrier to the trust of physicians and as a result of which they are unwilling to adopt such neural network models in the clinical setting. Saliency maps are a way to provide explanations of why these neural networks make certain decisions. However, they have been shown to be untrustworthy for medical image interpretation. The combination of saliency maps which are generated from the widely available set of classification models along with a limited amount of expert annotations for segmentation models which are trained using medical images it remains relatively unexplored. So the research question that we try to tackle is the, that the combination of saliency maps generated from widely available classification models and a limited amount of expert annotations for training medical image segmentation models are able to provide higher quality segmentations at a lower cost. So the setup or the task is to classify each pixel of a chest x-ray image into zero or more of 10 possible pathologies. The data set that is used is Chexpert, which is a widely available public data set consisting of around 220,000 chest x-rays obtained from around 65,000 patients. It consists of a validation set of 200 chest x-rays which have been annotated by expert radiologists. And in order to test the segmentation performance, there is a separate test set of 500 radiologists animated chest x-rays. So the method that we introduce is CheckSeg, which is essentially a semi-supervised method for multi-pathology segmentation. It mainly consists of two steps. The first step is to generate saliency maps using the grad cam method or the gradient-based glass activation mapping method. And then to use these saliency maps to create per pixel segmentation masks with either thresholding or IR net. The thresholding method simply involves normalizing the saliency map and then thresholding it by a given probability. And this is determined per class by maximizing the intersection over union on the validation set. The interpixel relation network for IR net is a method which tries to improve the seeds obtained by the saliency maps by training two output branches, a displacement vector field and a class boundary map. The second step involves combining the pseudo labels obtained in the first step along with pixel level expert annotations in order to train a semantic segmentation model. And in our training task, we sample the expert annotations with the probability of P equals 0.9, which provides the best results. In order to compare CheckSeg with other methods, we also have a fully supervised setting in which we solely used the radiologist annotated images in order to train a segmentation model. And the second is the weekly supervised method in which we use the pseudo labels only in order to train the segmentation model. So this is an overview of the workflow. We start off with the chest x-ray image and the top row shows that we can use a pre-trained DNN apply grad cam to it in order to obtain a saliency map. Once the saliency map is obtained, we can either use IR net or thresholding to generate the weak pseudo label. And then just using this results in a weekly supervised setting, the bottom row shows the radiologist annotated expert annotation, which can be used in the fully supervised setting to train a segmentation model. Furthermore, combining these pseudo labels along with the expert annotations gives us a semi-supervised method or check seg. So moving on to the results, when we combine the weak and the full supervision, we see that there's a U-shaped trend obtained, which is affected by the weight of the strong labels, where P determines the expected fraction of the images with expert annotations in a single batch. It can be seen that P equals 0.9, which we call CheckSec, best takes the advantage of the more accurate information which are presented by the pixel level labels while utilizing the huge scale of the weak pseudo labels. Since the main problem is the limited availability of expert annotated uh, images which can be used for training purposes. We also have an experiment where we compare different encoder initializations 
and it is observed that across all the methods, models which are initialized with checks for encoder weights often perform the best in terms of the IOU performance. Also, MoCo CXR and ImageNet encoder initializations are comparable. Finally, moving on to the comparison to radiologists, it can be seen from the graph that CheckSeg outperforms radiologist performance on three different pathologies, which is eclectasis, airspace opacity, and fluid effusion. Compared to our best weekly supervised method, CheckSeg actually reduces the overall performance in terms of the mean IOU score with radiologists by 57.2%. Looking at some of the qualitative results obtained for cardiomegaly and airspace opacity, it can be seen that CheckSeg, which is the second column, provides better segmentation results which are closer to ground truth as compared to the weekly supervised method, which is the third column. Thank you for watching.